Hello everyone and welcome to week 5 of my watercolor portrait series. I did not work with watercolor this time because I wanted to try a new fountain pen that I just got which is the Seller Fude fountain pen. And I saw a few artists on YouTube using it for sketching and it looked really nice so I wanted to try it too. This pen has an angled nib, so if you use it on the angle, you will be able to create very broad lines. And if you use it on the very tip, you can make very fine lines. This fountain pen came with a couple of cartridges that have black sailor ink in it. And it's not waterproof, which can be a great advantage if you want just to sketch with it and use water to dissolve and create shadows. However, if you want to do lines and then put watercolor over it, it's not recommended at all because it will smudge everywhere. And this pen is recommended by Urban Sketchers because it's very versatile. You can just rock and change the angles of the tip as often as you want to achieve the results that you want rather than using several different pens with different tips, different size tips. For my weekly portrait, I decided to use this time a photo that I found on this sketchy app and to jump right in. So I got out of my comfort zone and tried to sketch with the pen, so no erasing. And it was very, very hard. I'm not really happy with the result. I don't think the portrait looks like the photo that I had, so probably next week to read it myself, I will use uh, watercolor to paint that portrait again and do a better job hopefully but it was more of an exercise to just sketch and use all the different angles of the nib uh, to see how it worked and it, it was actually fun I really enjoyed using this pen so I'm glad I tried it it's actually pretty cheap also I'll put a link um, I found it on Amazon I'll put a link down below in the description box so as I was saying, I'm just not comfortable drawing portraits of people with, without any means of erasing my mistake. So it was a pretty stressful exercise. However, it's in a sketchbook and I know that if I mess it up, then that's okay. Now you can see that the angle of the nib is really nice for those broad lines. And you can fill in those large areas with black in a very short amount of time. So I really appreciate that. Also, because you can make very fine lines, you can do a lot of cross hatching work that looks really nice as well. So it's great to have all those options with just one pen. Now this sketch ended up being more like a doodle rather than anything else. Uh, I probably spent 20, 30 minutes tops. Um, and I should have known better because when I tried the ink on this paper, I was not able to um, dissolve it very well because the paper is very absorbent. But I tried it anyway on the portrait and I didn't like the result. That was a big mistake for me. I think it kind of messed it all up. But you live and learn and now I know better. So next time I use this pen, depending on the paper that I use, I will either use the ink on its own or dilute it. But I have to be very careful. I do want to practice more with it because it, it is really a lot of fun. I really enjoy this pen. This fountain pen does have a converter, which didn't come with it, unfortunately, at least when I bought it on Amazon. And I'm probably going to end up getting one. And what the converter is, if you're not familiar with that, is kind of like a, a separate cartridge that you can use. And you can fill it up with any ink that you already own, but it has to be ink that can work in a fountain pen and not clog it. And for instance, you can use a waterproof ink if you would like to use this pen with your watercolor paintings. But before I get one though, I'm going to use up that cartridge all the way and I'm going to try to clean it up and with a syringe, fill it up with the, my own ink. So I hope it works. I don't see why it wouldn't, but that's an experiment I want to try rather than just buying the converter right away. So I'm sorry for this messy portrait this week, but I hope that this little review will make you want to try this nice fountain pen. It's really cheap, so if you can afford it, I say go for it. 
Thank you all for stopping by. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.